Hi, buenos dias. So, Lande Verde, buenos dias. Um, the travel kids and everybody. I have a little uh, fun lesson today, and this is um, something that we do often in the classroom. And I just thought I'd send out some reminders of um, our rules and expectations and really nice words, things we go by if we're having a challenging time. And it's a solution kit. So we have these visuals. These are great. These are kind of the extra large ones. And in Inglese and Espanol, these are Inglese. Um, but I'm going to show you what we usually use. We use the small ones. I know you guys really like those because we have our little uh, kind of a treasure box that the solution kit cards are um, placed in. That's where they live. Um, but this is a special box. This was my dad's box. It's kind of a jewelry box. So it's, uh, we have something like this in our class. And I'm going to open it up and get our cards. There's a lot of jewelry in here, but I'm gonna I'm just using this temporarily for now, since I'm at home and not in the classroom. Anyway, I did get these from the classroom when I visited there a couple weeks ago. So we're gonna go through of these. Um, there's uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho. There's eight of them. That's a lucky number, eight. That's my favorite number, anyway. We're gonna go through each of these, and I know that you guys will remember. And when we come back to class, we can review these in circle, circle. Okay, so let's go with the first one and start the first one. Sometimes uh, there might be a time when we're at the park or we're using scooters and not all of them are available. Um, that's when we can wait and take turns. And remember that, wait and take turns, and you guys are really good at that. Um, so let's say it in es Espanol, let's practice. Espera y toma turn, turno. Es, 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 excuse my accent. Espera y toma turno. And I might be having a slow accent with my Italian speaking, but let's say it a little bit. Quicker. Wait and take turns and see you see how nicely they're waiting and taking and they're just gonna wait to take their turn to go down the slide Espera y toma torno Okay, that's the first one the second one ask nicely so Maybe um, if this little boy wants to use the balloons that the girl has and to be polite and use kind words um, Let's say it in Espanol Pregunta amablemente. Pregunta amablemente. Let's say it again and ask nicely. Pregunta amablemente. Amablemente. That's really very sweet, polite. Okay, like kind of teasing. Na, 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 na. That's kind of what this boy is doing. It looks like he's teasing, but also um she's kind of ignoring him so is that nice no ignore ignora ignora that's not nice so we'll, sometimes we'll put this maybe she maybe he's trying to get her attention it looks like he's teasing but you know what it looks like he he's getting trying to get her attention and she's ignoring him so that's not very nice uh, this is a really good one. If we have any kind of conflict, um, there might be a disagreement that uh, two friends might be having, and we get a teacher. Go get a maestra. Get a teacher. We're going to say that in Spanish, too. And that's really nice. A lot of you know to do that. And that's busca una maestra. Let's say it together. Busca uno maestra. And these are, we have about two or three of these in our classroom. We have a two minute timer. We have a five minute timer. And this is again, waiting turns, but using a tool. This is a timer and using the actual tool. And let's get a timer. And you guys all know where the timers are. 
and let's say in Espanol. Busca un cantador de tiempo. Busca un cantador de, de tiempo. It's really good. Great thing to have in class all the time. Uh, say please stop. If someone might be kind of um, walking over your blocks, you just created this incredible structure with uh, maybe magnet tiles. Um, uh, someone wants to destroy it and, and just walk over it. In this case, um, this little boy is walking over a sandcastle that this other little boy had made. He worked really hard on it. So you can use your words, say, please stop. Let's practice in Espanol. Desir para por favor. Desir para por favor. And usually friends listen, but if they don't, get a teacher. This is really nice. If you're in that good mood and you want to play with friends, play together. It's always fun to play together. You learn from each other. You have dialogue, you talk, you have great conversation, you have ideas, you exchange a lot of um, great things. So play together. In Espanol, Ugar juntos. Ugar juntos. And this is real nice. Sometimes even big people like me or like teachers and your parents, it's, sometimes it's hard to share. It really is. And um, we understand that it's really hard for you guys to share. But when you're in the mood, you can, if you, if you um, don't want to use a timer and you feel like sharing, especially share day, that's what it's all about. Sharing, show and tell, share. And let's say in Espanol, comparte, say comparte. Comparte. So these are our solution cards and these are really great. A lot of us use these little ones. They're so cute. And again, this is just a temporary box that they're going in. But I'm going to put them back in my box. And here are the big ones. These are grande, the grande cards. So we use these too. Usually at circle time, the maestras, maestros use those. Thank you so much. Thanks for listening. Can't wait to go back to school and use the solution kit cards. I miss you. Besitos. Adios. Have a good day.